Hello, today I'm going to do a video of some of your favorite shows as they had a secret. These are all shows from many years ago that had secrets. I hope you enjoy. My first is The Meeting of Alf. Everybody's alien life form favorite, Alf. The night he came. Let me just let me just shut this thing off. Oh, what's that noise? Oh my gosh, it's the infrared radio band. I've locked into something in space, a pulsar or a, or a satellite. Ah. Hello, hello, this is K726XAA. Can you read me? Uh, they're answering, but I don't recognize the language. Why don't you just shut it off? I, I can't. I, I can't control it. It's locked in on the signal. Willie? Willie, what's that? Oh, my gosh. It can't be. The lights! What happened to the lights? Daddy, Daddy, look that thing in the sky! What's going on? It's closing in fast. I think maybe we better... A visitor. The next was my favorite Martian. A real Martian comes down to Earth. Are you through? <laughs> now, what are you waiting for me to say? Take me to your leader? <laughs> Who are you? Well, I could give you some wild tale of being a Russian astronaut or the designer of an experimental spacecraft. But the plain fact of the matter is, I'm from Mars. Mars? Mars. Now, don't look so astonished. I'm a professor of anthropology from Mars, specializing in this primitive planet. Mars? I'm afraid you got hit a little harder than you think. That idiot in your antique rocket plane almost ran into me. You mean the X-15? Uh, now I'm marooned on this backward planet until I can repair my ship. Now, hold it, hold it, hold it. You, you, you mean the X-15 almost, almost ran into your, um, that thing? Precisely. It was lumbering along at barely 4,000 miles an hour. I had to strain my ship to get out of its way. You know how fast he was going? I can tell you to the fifth decimal place. Oh, that idiot at the controls reported me to his base as a flying saucer. <laughs> Ooh. Well, just don't sit there. I've been hurt. <laughs> Come on, we'll go to my car. Uh, you'll have to carry me. It takes me a little while to get used to the Earth's gravity. I, I weigh so much more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it isn't Mars, but it's uh, Tone. Then I have one of my favorite shows of all time, The Ghost of Mrs. Muir. 
The Mueller's move into a haunted house, haunted by Captain Greg. Then we have the story of Superman as a young man, how he saves his father and becomes known and has a hidden identity as Clark Kent. Hello? Yes. Oh, well, thank you for calling. That was Judd. Says a tornado's heading this way. You must find your father and warn him. Where is he? Down in the South Meadow. Quick. The next show is Topper. It's taken from a movie from the 30s where a man moves into a house that is haunted by the Kirby's. Sixteen. You did. I said fifteen. Children. Fifteen. Sixteen. 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 Six
Enthusiastic about it. I suppose you go for the more flighty type, like Henrietta. I think Henrietta's kind of cute. Oh, you'd think a rhinoceros was cute if it was a female. Well, here I go, pretty enough. Well, now, I'm ready for a drink. Materializing always does wear me out. Would you mind telling me just what, just, just who you are? Oh, haven't we introduced ourselves? Oh, what a shame. I'm Marion Kirby, and that, that oaf at the bar is my husband, George. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? The Kirby's? Well, you, you can't be the Kirby's. We can, too. The Kirby's are dead. You said it. Dead as doornails. Oh, would you mind, old man? The next is a story of Bewitched, starring Samantha as a real-life witch. Must be the champagne. May I have my key, please? Champagne. It's been a hectic day for both of us. It's not as easy as it 
books. Why say I was a witch if I'm not? I don't know. I have an aunt who thinks she's a lighthouse. And whenever it rains, she insists on climbing on the garage roof to warn the sailors. <laughs> How do you know she isn't a lighthouse? Huh? Well, maybe you're the one that's looking straight at the lighthouse and thinks you're seeing an old lady on a garage roof. Okay, okay, okay. okay. My aunt is a lighthouse, and you're a witch. You don't believe me. Okay, if you're a witch, where's your black hat and broom, and how come you're out when it isn't even Halloween? Mother was right. You're prejudiced. You told me your mother was in India. She is. But she dropped in on me this evening. Here? <laughs> yeah. Is she here now? No. Good. Because I don't care for even an invisible mother-in-law along with my honeymoon. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to prove to you that I'm a witch. That's a good idea. Prove it. I wasn't going to do any more witchcraft for your sake. I'm from Missouri. You know what that means? What? Show me. I'm not very experienced at it. Well, you're young yet. I can only do little things. A little thing will be just fine. Just any old little thing. I have yet to see a table lighter that works. Just once, I would like to see. <laughs> Sweetheart, we all imagine things. Now, I myself. <laughs> Next is Highway to Heaven, starring Michael Landon. It's about an angel that comes to Earth to help out other humans. One more time. Either you talk to me or I call the cops. If you do that, I'll have to leave before my job. Then talk. If I tell you, you're not going to believe me in it. <sighs> Try me. All right. In my job, I'm sent to various places by my boss to turn. Mistakes, bicycles were a mistake. Let me have him. He. Yeah, God. Guess he figures the only way I'm gonna learn is by mistakes. I'm kinda new at this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This friend, you need help. Yes, I do. I need your help. Well, what good is it gonna do you to go to the police? I'll be gone by the time you get back, and I won't finish my job. And I hurt a whole bunch of innocent people for no reason. All because you don't trust your fellow man. Awful lot of good people in this world. I'm just here to try to help them. I said my piece. You can.
Then we have Dark Shadows. It's about Barnabas, a man who is put into a coffin 200 years and later comes to be in, um, taken by a caretaker who is haunted by the ghost and the vampire of Barnabas Collins. We then have I Dream a Genie, the story of an astronaut who comes upon a bottle containing a genie on a desert island. have a show that was called My Mother the Car. A man buys an automobile that is very old and in rough shape and his mother speaks to him through the radio although she has been dead for many years.
picture of her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, mother. 